The Cleveland Clinic believes all patients deserve world-class care. The Department of Anatomic Pathology is a staff of 51 pathologists in 16 subspecialty areas providing the most comprehensive and extensive experience and knowledge in each of those fields. In order to go from a general surgical pathology to a subspecialty type of practice, you really require a, a lot more surgical pathologists and more space. So we needed to build an entirely new uh, sign out complex and hire about twice as many people as we had when we started this process. I continues to grow, continue to subspecialize. For example, a GI service is now six separate services. Our GU service is now two separate services. And we keep adding more and more staff with subspecialty expertise. Our vision moving forward in the growth of the reference laboratory is to provide disease-based diagnostic testing services, which cross the traditional boundaries of anatomic pathology and clinical and molecular pathology to provide an integrated suite of diagnostic services that provide the right information at the right time to answer clinical questions. We've been moving uh, towards a more subspecialized uh, practice of molecular pathology. So we now have a department of molecular pathology and within that we have sections of cytogenetics, molecular genetic pathology, molecular microbiology, molecular hematopathology, and molecular oncology. With our integrated model, we're able to keep all of that together in one report uh, that delivers a, a unified uh, interpretation to the clinicians. With developments in high throughput, next generation sequencing technologies, uh, there's been really an explosion of data regarding the molecular basis of disease in, in all areas of pathology, but uh, especially in oncologic pathology. And all that information is now making its way into the clinics uh, and is changing how we diagnose and classify tumors, uh, how we predict prognosis, and how we help clinicians select uh, therapies for those diseases. We will innovate in pathology and laboratory medicine in a few major ways. First, growth of our uh, test menu uh, within the reference laboratory will allow us to be on the cutting edge uh, in test development. Additionally, ePathology will offer uh, our client pathologists the opportunity uh, to have more flexibility in their sign-outs, whether it's adding additional immunostochemistry tests and having those images available diagnostically, uh, sharing uh, consultative services, uh, or uh, improving turnaround time. We use the term ePathology to refer to the application of advanced imaging techniques to patient care, research, and education here at the Cleveland Clinic. One of the advantages of using scanned slides is that the reference lab pathologist can view the entire microscope slide and can navigate around that microscope slide as well as change magnifications. Here at the Cleveland Clinic, we're using telepathology to allow essentially instant consultations between our regional affiliated hospitals and the main campus. This is especially helpful at the time of frozen sections. In collaboration with Aperio and possibly other vendors, we anticipate being able to use the combination of digital scanning, secure networks, and experienced subspecialty pathologists to offer worldwide anatomic pathology consultations with very rapid turnaround time. Cleveland Clinic's residency program and fellowship programs are some of the finest in the country. I think in the context of the greater mission, we see education and opportunity as linked that we see it as providing opportunities for not only people who train within the walls of our hospital, but also training people outside of the walls of the hospital in our community. So we provide educational programs, both for physicians, doctors, residents, fellows, and other trainees, but also for people in the, in the community so that they have an opportunity uh, as well. Research is also an important part of the Cleveland Clinic's mission. Everybody here is passionate about research, from very simple studies to ultra-complex studies where we identify new genetic aberrations in cancer, for instance, and then work with drug companies to design therapies. So it's a very fulfilling uh, and rewarding part of the work that we do here at the Cleveland Clinic. And so not only do we make research breakthroughs here that are able to make diagnoses and extend what we're doing um, at the microscope or in the lab, but then we go, then go off and teach our colleagues to disseminate that research also in the written publications. And so these research findings extend uh, very quickly into uh, everyday clinical practice and patients benefit from that. The clinic has incorporated continuous improvement 
to provide quicker and more efficient service for internal and external patients and clients. We've learned a lot of behaviors uh, around how we um, decide what it is that we want to work on, how we evaluate how we're doing on a regular basis through monthly business reviews or through visual management, how we choose projects and complete projects, and how we engage a frontline team to uh, create their own improvements. We firmly believe that the people closest to the work are those who are best positioned to improve that work. And so we've really learned that by forming frontline teams and engaging people, we can make uh, pretty rapid progress in uh, making the care we provide even better.